welcome back dear students and friends in the previous session we were discussing this chapter number 4 reproductive health and we have discussed many aspects of reproductive health specifically what is reproductive health what is the purpose of reproductive health why the reproductive health is necessary what are the different contraceptive methods of birth control what is mtp and what is its significance and we have also now we have to discuss regarding this a new topic and this is called as infertility today we will discuss this topic because without that the reproductive health is somewhat uh, you can say that it's a half topic okay so we will discuss this topic called as infertility okay so what do you mean by an infertility actually what is an infertility infertility that means incapability of a couple to produce children so this is called as infertility a major problem in now a world okay so what is an infertility that is incapability of a couple to produce a children that's called as a infertility there are lots of people nowadays in the world they are suffering from this problem infertility and india is uh, no other country india is a part of a world so in india also you can find the lots of couple who are suffering from this infertility that means that couple cannot conceive or cannot have a child children there are variety of reasons why they suffer from an infertility there are lots of reason for in some people it may be due to some physical reason in some people it may be due to a some disease it may be due to a consumption of few drugs or it may be due to an you can say that immunological basis or immunological reason or it may be a psychological reason so these are the few reasons why they suffer from infertility or they have a problem of infertility a uh, might be a physical problem that is disease a drug or immunological problem or psychological problem any of the problem or the combination of this problem that may result into an infertility okay in india and also in the other parts of the world there are specialist health care system or health setup they are available who detect this infertility problem and they try to correct it so that's why the couple can conceive or the couple have a children usually this kind of clinical setups like kind of a hospital where such kind of a treatment a treatment of infertility is done they are called as infertility clinics what they are called as infertility clinic okay so infertility clinic these are the healthcare center where they are dealing with detection of a problem of infertility once it is detected they try to correct it that means they implement a such kind of a corrective measures so now a couple has a or couple might have a children in future so this is called as a infertility clinic that means they give a kind of a treatment what they require depends on the type of a cause whatever the kind of treatment they require this infertility clinics they provide them okay but in certain cases the corrective measure does not guarantee or does not fulfill the requirement of children so that in that cases we have to go for a certain newer techniques okay and these techniques are called as a r t okay so those who cannot be corrected by fertility clinics so they has to be provided by different techniques this is called as a r t means assisted a means assisted r means reproductive t means technology okay what is a e r t assisted reproductive technology so this are the kind of a newer technology which help a couple to have a children 
okay so this is a kind of a ERT so clear students so what is infertility infertility that means incapability of a couple to have a children this is called as infertility why it occurs variety of the reasons few reasons are physical disease drugs immunological reason and psychological reasons in India and the other parts of our world there are specialized healthcare setup what we call it as infertility clinic they try to diagnose and try to correct the conditions associated with infertility but those conditions which cannot be corrected which cannot be reversed in that cases a newer techniques have been adopted what we call it as ART called as assisted reproductive technology and this ART assisted reproductive technology is the most important topic from examination point of view so students learn properly what is ART assisted reproductive technology so now let's start with ART So what is an ARD? ARD means Assisted Reproductive Technology This is Assisted Reproductive Technology In this Assisted Reproductive Technology A couple is Assisted to conceive or the couple is assisted to have children okay and one of the first technique which is adopted under ART is in vitro fertilization followed by embryo transfer but first we will discuss this in vitro fertilization you know the meaning of fertilization fertilization means a fusion of male and female gamete that is called as a fertilization okay so here we do the same the fertilization means we are doing in this technique we are doing a fusion of male and female gamete but where in vitro in vitro means outside the body clear usually in a human the fertilization takes place inside a body okay but here it is an assisted reproductive technology what we call it, call it as in vitro fertilization means in this technique the fertilization occurs outside a body this type of a technique is called as in vitro fertilization so here the fertilization takes outside body in a laboratory in a stimulated stimulated environment means the environment which is similar to our body that is provided and the nutrition similar to our body that is provided and in such environment the fertilization process is induced such type of a fertilization is called as in vitro fertilization okay now once the fertilization occurs you know that what is the product of fertilization once the fertilization or due to fertilization what is produced after fertilization the ultimate product of this fertilization is zygote okay now this zygote that is produced outside the body because here it's a in vitro fertilization so fertilization occurs outside the body so obviously zygote where it is formed this zygote is formed outside the body we allow it to grow in a petri plate we allow it to grow in a petri plate or petri dish to form an embryo okay and then this embryo is transferred into a human body this embryo which starts to develop that is transferred into a human body okay so how it is transferred and where it is transferred depends on that there are two methods first is called as zift and the second method is called as iut what is zift zift means z means zygote I means intra, F means fallopian, T means transfer. Zygote intra fallopian transfer. This is called as ZIFT. 
Okay, and the second method which is adopted for transfer of embryo is called as IUT means intra U means uterine transfer. Okay, so after the embryo is formed from a zygote, so where the embryo is formed, the embryo is also formed outside the body. Now this embryo which is formed that has it that has to be transferred to a human body. So if it has to be transferred below the eight cells or eight blastomeres because you know that initial cells are called as blastomeres that up to eight cell up to okay or the less than eight cells they are transferred into a fallopian tube they are transferred into a fallopian tube remember if it is less than or up to eight blastomere they are transferred into a fallopian tube Okay, and this type of a technique is called as ZIFT, zygote intra fallopian transfer. If this blastomere or it contains this embryo contains more than eight blastomeres, it is transferred to a uterus. It is transferred to a uterus, and such kind of a transfer is called as or such kind of a technique is called as intra uterine transfer. What it is called? Intra uterine transfer. Okay, so depends on the location. And depends on the number of cells where they are going to be transferred. There are two types of a technique: ZIFT and IUT. This is called as embryo transfer technique. Okay, what is ZIFT and IUT? Embryo transfer technique. If the embryo contains say uh, eight blastomeres or up to eight blastomeres, then it is transferred to a fallopian tube, and that is technique is called as ZIFT. And if the embryo is more than eight, then they are transferred to a uterus, and this is called as IUT intra uterine transfer. Okay, so this is a technique of first assisted reproductive technology in which in vitro fertilization that is followed by embryo transfer. It's followed by embryo transfer means once the fertilization takes place, zygote is formed, allow it to develop an embryo, and then it is transferred. Okay, if it is transferred to a fallopian tube up to eight blastomeres, then it's called as ZIFT. If it is more than eight blastomeres and transferred to a uterus, then it is called as IUT, intra uterine transfer. Commonly we call it as, commonly we identify this technique as test tube baby program. So it's kind of a test tube baby program in which the zygote and embryo is formed in a laboratory in a simulated environment and then they are going to be transferred. Okay, so these are the technique ZIFT and IUT. Another one technique that is just a transfer technique and this is called as GIFT. Okay, what is GIFT? GIFT means gamete, G means gamete, I means intra, F means fallopian, T means transfer. GIFT, gamete intra fallopian transfer. Okay, the name itself suggests here the transfer takes place. Where the transfer takes place? The transfer takes place in fallopian tube. What is transferred? The gamete is transferred. Whereas in ZIFT, it transfer takes place at fallopian tube. But what is transferred? Zygote or the embryo up to eight cell that is transferred in ZIFT. So difference between ZIFT and GIFT, that is. In ZIFT, either zygote or embryo up to eight cell is transferred. In GIFT, what is transferred? Gamete is transferred. Gamete is transferred. Okay, both are transferred. In ZIFT or GIFT, either zygote or gamete they are transferred into a fallopian tube. In which circumstances this technique is useful? GIFT that is useful in the cases where the lady is not able to produce the ovum or ova, egg cell. Okay, in that circumstances, the technique which is going to be adopted is a GIFT. If in a couple the lady is not able to produce the ovum or female gamete, okay, in that case, what we will do, we will get the ovum from healthy donor or healthy female, another healthy female, okay, and then we transfer into one of that couple okay so here the lady that only doesn't have a capacity to produce the ovum but the internal environment is such a that 
it can able to or the she can able to conceive okay the internal environment is suitable for a pregnancy but she is not capable to produce a ovum or female gamete due to any of the reason so in that case the ovum is collected from a healthy female and then it is going to be transferred and such kind of a technique is called as gift so in which circumstances it is useful it is useful where a lady is not capable to produce the ovum but she can able to provide a healthy environment needed for a pregnancy whereas gift here here the zygote is going to be transferred or the embryo up to eight cell is going to be transferred so this is called as gift clear so we have discussed three methods in uh, in vitro fertilization an embryo transferred to zift iot next method is gift one more assisted reproductive technology is icsi which one is sir icsi what is icsi i first i means intra c means cytoplasmic s means a sperm another i means injection okay so icsi another assisted reproductive technology is icsi means intracytoplasmic sperm injection what is intracytoplasmic sperm injection intracytoplasmic sperm injection here injection of a semen or a sperm or the sperm is directly injected into a ovum okay with the help of or microscope the sperm or sample of sperm that is collected from a donor and that is injected into an ovum directly such kind of a method is called as icsr intra cytoplasmic sperm injection okay next method it's called as ai ai means artificial insemination okay what is ai artificial insemination this is a technique that is useful in the couples if a male is not able to inseminate inseminate means is not able to deposit his semen into a vagina so in that circumstances this technique is adopted which one is sir ai artificial insemination if a male is not able to deposit his semen in a vagina or the semen that is produced that have low sperm count usually you know that in a one ejaculation 3 to 4 ml of semen is ejaculated or discharged and that should contain 200 to 300 million of sperm okay these are the numbers and from that 60% should of a proper shape and size and from that the 40% should have a vigorous motility you know this is a normal phenomena what is going to happen that is called as an artificial uh, that is going to happen but if the male doesn't able to inseminate or the male discharge the semen but have a low quantity or low volume of a semen in that case the technique that is going to be adopted is a artificial insemination okay so here the insemination process is done artificial here the semen that is collected from husband or a donor that is transferred or seminated or injected into a vagina or uterus of a female okay that is transferred into a vagina or the uterus of a female what is transferred semen okay so this technique is called as artificial insemination okay so these are the different ART assisted reproductive technology two mark question but very important question so assisted reproductive technology are the newer technologies they help to overcome the problem of infertility those problems which cannot be corrected by clinical settings or the particular healthcare setups that can be corrected by ART or they help in conceiving the children or to have a children 
variety of methods first is in vitro fertilization followed by embryo transfer two way of embryo transfer zift and iot second is gamete transfer okay gamete transfer is useful in the cases where the lady is not able to produce the ovum or female gamete next artificial insemination artificial insemination is a process in which if a male is not able to produce the semen or not able to produce the semen in a proper volume or does not able to inseminate in that case is the artificial insemination is performed next is icsr if that do not have a motility or the sperm doesn't have a motility then we adopt this technique intracytoplasmic sperm injection in which a sperm is directly injected into an ovum this is a different ART assisted reproductive technology and depends on the conditions the doctor will choose a specific method that is suitable for a couple okay but these are the latest techniques and these techniques require professional expertise it requires a precision instrument means high end sophisticated instrument it requires it requires a highly skilled professionals and so that's why the cost of this therapy would go up okay the cost of therapy would go up sometimes the couple may have to take 2 3 4 sessions and as the sessions going on increasing then the fees all are also going to increase okay so ultimately these are the newer techniques require high end instruments require a highly skilled professionals so that's why the cost of this therapy art assisted reproductive technology is high and yes when the cost is high obviously everyone cannot afford it okay this is a problem which is associated with assisted reproductive technology okay apart from that there are also some emotional stigma kind of a social stigma also prevail in the society so that's why many couple they hesitate to go to a such kind of a clinic or to have a such kind of a art okay so the these are the major two problems which are hurdle in art assisted reproductive technology that is one is a cost and the second one is emotional and social stigma due to that the spread of this therapy is very low but still our country has a few centers they are available throughout the india and they help in help to a couple to have a children and such kind of a techniques are called as art and they remove a problem of infertility okay so that's all about a chapter number 4 reproductive health in reproductive health these are the components which are very much important first is contraceptive methods you have to learn thoroughly the contraceptive methods okay all the contraceptive methods second mtp medical termination of pregnancy is equally important and the last one is this infertility and art assisted reproductive technology you have to do it thoroughly because these are very important topic from the chapter okay so thank you for watching till then keep learning keep watching like and subscribe this channel Thank you for watching